Hey guys, today we're going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar, but first we should read our story time song. Ready? The title is the book, the title is the book, hi-ho the dairy -o. the title is the book. You guys sing with me, okay? The author writes the words, the author writes the words. Hi, oh, the dairy -oh, the author writes the words. The illustrator draws the pictures, the illustrator draws the pictures. Hi, ho, oh, the dairy -oh, the illustrator draws the pictures. The title of the book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and the author is the same person as the illustrator, and his name is Eric Carl. So let's hear about The Very Hungry Caterpillar. We're going to open the cover of the book and find the first page of the book. Now I'm going to warn you, there's some writing on this book because this was Emily's birthday book, so people signed it for her. I'm just borrowing it. Open it up. Ready? It says, In the light of the moon, a little egg laid on a leaf. There's a little egg on a leaf. And it's so nice out today. You guys can go outside and look for leaves. Maybe you'll find an egg on there too. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and out pop of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Look at that tiny little caterpillar. And what's this right here? Yeah, it's the sun. Let's see what's gonna happen. He started to look for some food. Look, he's crawling, 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 looking for food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. He went through the apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. One, two, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three blueberries, but he was still hungry. I'm sorry, it says plums. I thought it was a blueberry. Count the, the plums with me. One, two, three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Count with me. One, two, three, four. <gasps> On Friday, he ate through five oranges. Count the oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. He's a hungry little caterpillar. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, who doesn't love lollipops, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And that night, he had a tummy ache. Poor caterpillar. Look at him down there with his tummy ache. Wonder why he had a tummy ache? Because he ate all that food. Let's see what he did. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much, much better. And there's the big leaf that he ate. And where's the caterpillar? Who can find the caterpillar for me? Yeah, he's right there. Now, he wasn't a hungry caterpillar anymore. <clears throat> he was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a, who knows what this is called, what they put all around them, they wrap themselves in it. It's a cocoon. Can you guys say cocoon? Good job. He wrapped himself in the cocoon and he stayed inside for two weeks. And then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out and became a, what's he gonna, what's gonna happen? He was a caterpillar, and then he wrapped himself in the cocoon for two weeks, and then he popped out, and he became a... What is that? It's a butterfly. Fly, fly, fly. Good job, the end. He was a beautiful butterfly. Look at all the nice illustrations. So I want you guys to go outside and look for some butterflies or cocoons or caterpillars or any of the things that you saw from the book. And I want you to tell mommy and daddy about it, okay? All right, bye.